Hey guys and welcome back to the middle of winter here in Arctic Norway. So I'm going to take you out today on the training run with me as we train on the ATVs with Torva's dogs through the forest around the place where we are here in Norreza. Now these 20 dogs have run about 140 kilometers in the last two days and today we're going to be running 60 kilometers and these dogs at the end of the winter will be running the Finnmark Sloper race with Torva. A race which is about a thousand kilometers long and it's held further north from here. I hope you enjoy. Now let's get started. I'm going to introduce you to the 20 dogs that will make up our team. To start with in the morning we feed the dogs a meat soup and this is mostly for hydration. It has a little bit of meat in it uh, like some chopped up stomach or some dog sausage rom and we give the females like three quarters of a scoop of this soup and the males get a full scoop. A full scoop is one litre. That's their breakfast and then they also get a snack which is uh, like a handful of dog sausage vom mixed with dry food and this gives the dogs enough energy to run for the, the day at least it gets them going for the day <laughs> We're headed out on the first round. Today we're going to be doing 60 and I'll do that in probably three rounds of 20 and we'll stop for water and a snack in between each round back at the house. So they started training in August and we're training on wheels because obviously there's no snow in August and they've slowly built up from doing like five or ten kilometers a day through to now where they're doing um, up to 80 kilometers per day. Okay, up! The dogs that we're running are Alaskan Husky dogs and what's the difference between an Alaskan Husky and a Siberian Husky? Alaskan Huskies are not as cute and fluffy but they are bred to be really really good racing dogs and strong working dogs. They're bred from a range of uh, different dogs for example um, Siberian Huskies, Malamutes, uh, Greyhound as well and a few other types of dog is bred into them. And the idea is that Alaskan Huskies can run further than any other breed of dogs and that's why they use them for the long distance races. We're just pulling into the house now and we're going to stop for a break of about 5 or 10 to 15 minutes and the dogs will get a drink of water and a snack.
the trail again now. We're at the brightest part of the day and shortly the, the light will go away. We get about three to four hours of daylight each day. So we're approaching the middle of the Arctic winter. So we haven't actually seen the sun for about a month now. Most of these dogs have done the Finnmark Slope it quite a few times. And last year Torva was very close to the finish line when the race was shut down because of COVID suddenly taking over Norway. Coming back into the house now and we're up to 40 kilometres so just 20 more kilometres to go for these dogs before the end of the day and before they get a few days rest and we're going to give them some more water and a nice snack of dog sausage bomb. Yeah, it's good to sit back. Yes, I know, it's a big day. Blink. Tuk tuk. Hog, Peter. Hey, buddy. Water for you. <laughs> Heading out again now. This is our last round. So about 20 kilometers to go. And this is uh, all going to be by torchlight because it's dark now. But that's okay, I've got a nice strong headlamp which is uh, designed just for this job. So that's, that's good, I can see plenty. Because I have to be able to see the lead dogs to make sure that they're going the right way and make sure that they're not limping. So the whole time this is pretty much my view and I'm just watching every single dog. We're just coming up to the last corner now and as you can see it's pretty dark and we're doing all this by torchlight. This part around here is quite bouncy and then we're going to be on the home straight back to the dog yard at the house. Now they've done 55 kilometres at this point and incredibly they are still pulling like amazing. <laughs>
Ой, короя! The dogs are fed, snacked, and they're most of them in bed. Pretty big day, 60 kilometers. It's actually the furthest I've driven on a sled, on, not on the sled, but on the ATV in one day. So yeah, it's a long way. It was about pretty much six hours, including the stops. So big, big day. I hope you enjoyed coming out with the dogs and seeing a little bit of that and hopefully feeling a little bit of the experience. It's quite cool. There's a lot of power and it's pretty amazing to watch the dogs and steer the dogs through the forest. Those dogs were still pulling so hard at the end. Not as hard, but they're definitely still pulling very hard. So hard that I was still using the brake in some places. So that gives you an idea of just how tough and incredible these dogs are. So anyway, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed watching and good night, good day and good morning wherever you are in the world.